What's going on everyone? Jason here from Legendary Adventures and today we're actually going to be here at Fort Flagler. It's uh, actually right outside the town, a couple miles outside the town of Port Orchard, or not Port Orchard, Port Townsend, Washington, I'm sorry. And uh, this place is actually really, really cool. It's actually known as one of the main three forts over here in Port Townsend. You have uh, Port uh, Fort Ward, you have uh, Fort, uh, Fort Flagler, and I can't remember what the other one is right now, but I'm going to be researching all three of these. And I hope you guys like this. If you do, please le leave a like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Let's, let's get this uh, video above a couple hundred likes, beat the, beat the YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, so this is just a quick preview of what it looks like. This is just in the local area. So, this is what it looks like. so far this is just the one little corner area we had to use the restroom real quick but that little building that's right there you see over there that's actually what, what used to be the hospital or the main dining facility so we're gonna actually walk over here to my right and we're actually gonna go to uh, one of the bunkers we're gonna check take a look at yeah you guys as you see on battery Thomas Wandsboro Waynesboro hopefully I pronounced that that last name correctly but when we were actually at this bunker at Thomas Win uh, Winsboro you can tell that the preservation of these bunkers were top-notch and I also wonder if these shells actually had any live gunpowder saying that they're empty but that's neither here nor there but you can actually see as these guns stand a testament of time these weren't the original guns they were actually replaced in the Philippines in the late 60s but it's like they were always going to be standing for the eternal sentry post at Fort Flagler. It was amazing, breathtaking scenes, and it was just awe-inspiring being here. Guys, I just want you to know how beautiful Fort Flagler is. Like, it's all the way up there, right up, right above this ridge line right here, or this little freaking, yeah, miniature ridge line right over here. Look at this fucking view. I might not be able to give you guys a lot, you probably won't be able to see very well. Let me reverse the camera for you. There we go. Look at that. Just look at that, would you? Gorgeous freaking area. Absolutely stunning. When we were here at the portable searchlight storage in 1905, you can tell that these are a little bit run down. I actually didn't get a chance to get to the chapel. It's in phase two of storage, and I'd actually like to make a GoFundMe for that. So if you guys are interested, let me know. And yeah, no, the restoration is going along really, really nicely. So guys, we're right now at Battery John Rawlings. The bunker that we're gonna be going in, I had to get my headlamp just to make sure we got any uh, extra lighting we need in there because it's gonna be very very dark so Let's see what we got going on here because it looks like a really fucking big bunker as you can tell Beth wants to play games That's funny. Hello, welcome to my humble abode. I don't know what's down there, but. We should come up here and get some view. There you can see one of the gun forts up there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh shit, I didn't realize how short that was. <laughs> see, there's one of the gun forts, forts right there. Uh huh. Recording right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Wonder how you get down there. That probably has a way. We'll find out. So yeah, as you can see, these doors are huge. This is what it was a latrine, a bathroom back in the day. Very small, one person latrine. A 
don't know what's behind this door. This is a cast iron gate. It's completely rusted shut, but it's locked. So, interesting. You have a bird fucking flying in there. It just flew in and flew out. Yeah. So, hey, I found the bunker. If you want to go down here. Yeah. So, here we go, you guys. Oh, that's what's behind the cast iron door. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Shell room. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Look at this. This is where they put the uh, basically the rounds in. Yeah, they look at that. Up, like, yeah, that is one crazy thing. Look at this. Just another piece of history forgotten to the ages almost. So this was the powder room. The store the powder room, yeah, for the ammunition. The acoustics in here are crazy. Another powder hoist. Right through here. Kind of gives you really bad vibes like you're in a scary movie or something. Looks like another powder hoist right up here as well. You gotta imagine how big these bunkers are. There's several of them in a row. There's another powder room right there. Not really quite sure what this was for. This was the, uh, the shell room. So I'm assuming this is how they made shells or something. If anyone knows what this is, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not really quite sure what this is for. I don't want to say something where I'm wrong. Is off? And this would be the tool room. This is why Beth's gonna be walking home. <laughs> Here's the oil room again. Yeah, it is right there. No smoke. Yeah. So yeah, I think this was all it was on this one one, the one we just went to. This is just one of the many bunkers that are here. We have three more to go. All right, you guys, we just got done with the first battery, and now we're going through battery William Wilhelm. Let's keep going. There's where one gun turret was. Sorry for the noise, there's other people around. The acoustics down there are amazing. Just one person sounds like 10. And there's Beth, and there's just Beth. <laughs> It's just Beth harassing people. <laughs> I'm not harassing, I'm saying hi. Yeah. There's a big difference. <laughs> There's another dead end right there. Okay, anything up there? I'm gonna have to edit half of my film because of you. <laughs> no, but it's a great view. Like, I bet it is. <laughs> we basically explored all the, un all the underbelly of this, didn't we? Yeah. So, I'll show you guys how big this bunker is. Like, this thing just keeps going. Like, it's a fast. It just, like, it keeps repeating itself, repeating itself. This is still the battery of William Wilhelm. But down here, this could be a completely different battery. There's a set of stairs that go down there. Let's keep going.
Watch your step, you guys. These staircases start to shake. You can't work. I'm holding on to a thermos while also doing this with no stair stairway. So this is the oil room right here. There's another bird's nest. Hopefully I'm not pissing off any birds. I don't want to get shit on. Listen very carefully. You can hear the voices of the dead. No, I'm joking. Those are other people. Do you want to hold on to this for me? Yeah. Hello. Oh, wait, that's the first time I said I saw down. Hello. Uh, Robert Morris. So, I means this will be a proper room again. It's like they rebuilt or reinforced this one. Yeah, I did. It's a powder room right here. Another powder hoist right here. Gotta watch your step, there's a lot of different things up here. Looks amazing. Like my, I, this is actually weird. Uh, my camera's not focusing. So I don't know if there's something in here or what. It's not. It's something not causing my freaking camera to focus. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like a dirty screen. So let's do that. Somebody died in the shower. <laughs> there's a lot of different graffiti through here. Yeah, this is supposed to be a state park or a historic state park. People can't stop graffiti and tagging stuff. So, if you guys ever go to a historical state park, please don't tag. It's like this is actually a very historical place. Really want to know what your guys' comments and feedback is on Fort Flagler. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to go to all the uh, bunkers. There was actually, I think, uh, five to seven bunkers. They were um, basically established all over Fort Flagler State Park. Um, just for the two sizes we went to, going to uh, the Wilhelm Bunker and the... One second... Thomas uh, Ronsboro and also all right you got <laughs> the John Rawlings uh, bunker so we went to technically three bunkers so in that in a short amount of time we went to three different bunkers one was located on the far end near the beachhead and the other one was located uh, much much farther down on the lower uh, camp area and there's actually multiple uh, multiple bunkers left an actual main camping area. You have to have a day pass. It costs ten dollars to get in per day, and thirty dollars a year if you want to do that. So it's actually a really good deal. You can go anywhere in state, in any state parks, in the state of Washington for only thirty dollars a year. So that's actually not a bad deal. But um, the reason that a lot of the uh, camera angles and everything else didn't seem as uh, um, non-pixelated, it was actually very pixelated. I don't know why, what the conversion rate was from my phone to my uh, laptop, but that's the best I can get it and uh, in the Wilhelm um, bunker my phone could not focus and a lot of these scenes I was taking two or three different times so something was right in front of me where the camera lens was just kind of having a hard time focusing on what was going on so I found that actually relatively interesting please hit a like subscribe and bell notification in the bottom right hand corner of the screen let's get this legendary adventure brand off the off the ground running uh, I'd love to get this uh, video at least two to three hundred likes uh, get make sure that the Flagler State Park uh, Gets a lot of business, you know, because uh, since the COVID-19 a lot of state parks have been like 
not suffering, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they can handle a lot more business. And I actually want to make sure everyone who is actually working uh, a decent job for state parks or any type of establishment in general actually gets a lot more business. So I will see you guys in the next video.